Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I just want to have some fun. I have some primary elements that I'm going to be using and a few of the interference colors. If you're interested in any of these, I do have a coupon for 20% off, no minimum order. So you can get one color, get 20% off. I thought I would mention that. It's in the description box below. They're also in my Amazon shop if you want to purchase them through that, along with many other supplies. So, Christina Welsh, one of my YouTube artist heroes and a good friend of mine. She has been doing these beautiful bloom spin arts, and I just have to try one. So I have my 18-inch turntable here with a 18 inch Loli Vethe mat that fits perfectly in there that's also in the description as well as the turntables in my Amazon shop love this thing so what I want to do is I want to put some colors right in the center maybe blow them out a little bit with something I either my mouth or the blow dryer or my airbrush and then spin it to see what we get so the colors I'm using my all-time favorite, this is a primary element. It's called Jasmine. And let me turn my flash on for a minute here. Maybe, maybe, no, 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 doesn't wanna work. There we go. Just so you can see the true color here. They are just gorgeous. This is boysenberry. They look like a metallic paint with a color shift on them. In them, I should say. Look at that sparkle. And then this one here is called Azurite. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, along with those, I have some Holbein Mauve. I'm going to shut that flash off in a minute. Holbein Mauve and then Cerulean Blue Deep. Okay. I'm also going to use some of the Blingit Interference Colors. Now this one is called Milky Way Diamond Galaxy. It doesn't add color, just sparkle. Okay. So you could kind of compare it to a pearl white. This here is the Interference Green which you, you really can't see it right now until it's mixed in with the other colors. Um, this is the Interference Blue. And then this is the Interference Violet. You can see a little tiny bit, but they work best when you use them with dark colors. If you want to know how these were mixed, I will put it in the description, okay? And we're just going to get started. So I'm going to put down the, so, hmm, what do I want to use? <laughs> we'll put down the mauve first. I'm just going to put a nice puddle in the center. We may have to add to this. It may not be enough, but we'll see. Then on top of that mauve, I'm going to put some interference green. Some interference violet on top of that. This makes a really cool fire opal color when you add those two on top of each other. Then... We're going to hit it with the boysenberry right there. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I already had my white paint on the canvas. I did that ahead of time. So that's the boysenberry. Then we will add in the blue, the interference blue. We'll also add in some of that Milky Way to get that nice, pretty sparkle. Just go around like that. 
I don't want to add too much because you can overdo it with the stuff. Then I'm going to add in the azurite. I'm going to go in with a little more of the interference violet. The jasmine. This color is just bonkers. It's so beautiful. And last but not least, the cerulean blue. Deep. Okay. Now... I am going to add my black right into the center. Now this is just um, Carbon Black by Golden mixed with American Floetrol. So right into the center. And then we are going to move this around. I want to get it centered a little bit first though. Now I don't have my canvas up on anything. I just laid it down here, and now it's stuck to the thingamabob, of course. Once I'm done with this, I'll pick it up off of this and transfer it somewhere where it's sitting on a couple of cups to uh, dry. I have Blowzilla herself without the compressor on the end and I'm just gonna blow this out a little bit let's see what happens lots of cells very pretty Alrighty, so we have that part done. Now I'm going to take my little airbrush here and get just a few more spots. I mean, it's kind of like all over the canvas already. I don't know how I'm going to blow this out. Here, let's get some of these cells to activate in the center. You see just a little air down into the center there will create a bunch more. Really loving these colors together. Alrighty, and mm, I'm afraid to do this. Uh, let's see, let's spin it first. I'm just going to wait for that center to come up a little bit before I spin it. And I also think that I should probably maybe blow this out a little bit. I don't know. This is where I need you here with me to say, no, don't do that. Let's just see what happens with that. I am really afraid to spin this with my luck, man. It's going to go flying off at the wall. Well, it's opening them up really nice. Wow. Christina, boy, I'll tell you, she lit a fire under my butt when I saw her last video. Make sure you go check her out. And, you know, I think I'm going to leave it at that because that is gorgeous. Let me give you a close-up. Okay, I'm going to show it to you this way first, and then we're going to put the flash on so you can see all the pretty shimmer. But I want you to see the uh, shapes of everything first.
It's really, really pretty. I love that. Yeah, all the cells. Wow. All right. So now here we go. Now you're going to see all the pretty colors. Now I did put a lot of that blue on the top, so it is blocking a lot of it, but... It's still really gorgeous. So again, my friends, please go check out Christina Welsh. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to her. And check out, if you're new to paint pouring, I'm telling you, she's another staple of the paint pouring community. She's taught a lot of people a lot of different techniques. Just look, when you get to a channel, look at older videos, even my channel. I have a ton of resin videos. I have a ton of acrylic pouring videos, mixed media, and soap making, and everything. So check out the older videos. Speaking of soap making, let me show you these really quick. There were some that wanted to know when I was done making my new line of soap. I just wanted to show you that it is done this is one of six bars in this line, okay? This is called Mermaid Dreams. It's an ocean scent, and yes, that tail is soap. This one is called Pear Fantasy. It's a pear fragrance. This here is Banana Kiwi, made with fresh banana and kiwi, so the little seeds. This is like an exfoliating bar. Yes, that is a real banana chip, and no, you should not use it when you use the soap. Unless, hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> this is called English Rose Garden. It's got some pretty botanicals on top. Black Raspberry Vanilla with little uh, raspberry soaps on top. And the last one is Cucumber Melon done in a geode pattern, okay? So if you're interested in any of those, this beautiful clock that I am going to put in my Etsy shop soon, or this painting I just did, which will receive a beautiful coat of resin or even maybe one like this that will have a nice coat of resin on it soon, just email me, artbytammy at yahoo.com if it's not in my Etsy shop. So thank you for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe. Check your notification. Make sure it's on all because YouTube has been messing around with things and a lot of people are telling me either the the... Notifications are on none or they're on personalized. It needs to be on all for you to get no notifications for when my videos come out. I love you all. Don't forget to check the description out and happy pouring.